hell. But like, do we know how dangerous it is to be passing fatwas like that? To discourage women from getting C-sections when we're not aware of the benefits, the risks associated with it. And I Hey beautiful people, I was in today to go Myra Davies and thank you all so much for tuning in in another interesting video. This is another video that men do not mind their business just because they are in one high ranking religious status, they feel like they can tell women what to do to their body. My Muslim sisters, I really do not pronounce some names because they are in Arabic, so I'll try and pronounce them very well. So this so this Islamic man was saying that six section women should not be allowed to do six section because they feel like it's an easy way out and women are supposed to go through pain. Labor, you're supposed to feel pain. You're supposed to pass through pain. You're supposed to be in pain for labor. So opting for six sessions shows that you and your, you and your baby might not bond and you might not even experience that labor pain that you're supposed to experience. Shark E said i think that there is this method which people use nowadays when the women feel the contractions and go to the hospital and they do a cesarean section for her i think that this is inspired by the shaitan and that the harm cost is far greater than any benefit because a woman is born to feel pain when in labor but this pain has a number of benefits Number one, it is an expiry, expiration for sin. It raises her in status if she is patient and seeks reward. The woman understands the extent of the pain suffered by other mothers. She will appreciate the extent of the blessing of good health that Allah bestows on her. It will increase our love towards our child because the more difficult it is to attain something, the dearer it becomes. If the child is born by via the usual well-known route, <laughs> this is better for him and the woman. Damage may be expected from this surgery because this operation weakens the wall of the uterus, etc., which may tear and it may be successful or unsuccessful. The woman who gets used to having cesareans is unlikely to give birth in the natural manner because that is not possible and there is and there is a risk that the site of the surgery may rupture. Having surgery results in having fewer children because if the abdomen is cut three times in different places, it becomes weak and future pregnancy becomes dangerous. So in other words, it's trying to say that women should be patient and seek reward and should continue to give birth in the natural way because it is better for them in this world and in the year after. Men should pay attention to this issue for we do not know. Perhaps our enemies are the ones who have made these operations easy for us so that we will lose those benefits and subject to this loses let me roll some reaction for you all to watch muslim men and women talking about these things in fact the comment section because the video he did it wasn't speaking english so this was the translation i could get it was speaking arabic so yeah in the comment section of some of these people that were able to interpret it for us in english i will talk about it at the end of the reactions Now, I saw that video yesterday and it had about like one like and you weren't able to comment. You know, and I was like, what on earth is going on in the house of comments? And then I did my research and I was like, hm, this is looking a little bit fishy. It was fishy because this entire thing was taken so out of context. And this is why you cannot just go and post fatwas on the internet for the entire world to see. We as Muslims disagree on so many things and we have different fatwas. Why would you think posting that on a public platform was going to be of any benefit? Now, this is just going to go and create a controversy within the community when we have so many other things to be concentrating on. This brother just copy and pasted off of Islamica and called it a day. But hey, I'm a Muslim woman and a student midwife, so let me just explain. Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen said that a C-section is... um, which, What's the word? Let me just read it straight off the bat. Um, 
if mother and baby is alive, uh, can't speak English, if mother and baby is alive, it is not permissible to do any surgical operation except under necessity, such as when a delivery becomes difficult. Guys, that's just a general ruling anyway, unless a mom opts for an elective C-section beforehand. And it's very rare, very, very rare for a mom to say off the bat, I want a C-section, I want a C-section, no other opinion. It happens, but it's very rare. And then elective C-sections are performed for high-risk cases, i.e. it's planned beforehand and with medical opinion. So as a midwife, as an obstetrician, gynecologist, whoever is your consultant, um, will advise you that actually we think a C-section is better because of X, Y, Z reasons. And then you have emergency C-sections, of which there are three categories. It's an emergency, so we perform a C-section. Now, Islamically speaking, your body is an amana, so of course you shouldn't be doing putting it under any harm or any yeah, harm when there's no need. As women, alhamdulillah, most women, all the women that I've looked after, have wanted to give their best at labour and delivering their child and bringing their child into this world safely. And for many women, that means delivering via C-section. And again, to reiterate, Islamically, there is nothing wrong with that. This entire thing of, oh, I want a C-section because it's going to make my body look good. Nobody thinks that. If you understood what a C-section was, you would know that that is not the case. It does not make your body look any better. You are left with a large scar. And trust me, in comparison to a natural vaginal delivery in which there are no complications, the recovery rate is completely different. Now, there's so much misinformation in regards to... um birth in general especially given to women when they're pregnant and that's so sad but that is something that is in all countries and it's so important especially as a midwife as a student midwife we are taught that the main thing is that the woman is informed of her choices now i don't know how it works in countries like qatar or pakistan actually in pakistan i do if you have money you pay for a c-section because to them again they're misinformed there's not information in regards to it they think a c-section is the easy way out it's not as birth in general is not an easy thing it's the one thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honors women so highly for in general islamically speaking and then on top of that when you go and bring a human into this dunya you do don't you think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to reward this person immensely and any even if a thorn pricks a believer Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is getting rid of that believer's sin so of course when it comes to labor inshallah you got a clean record Basically, my point is, please just don't believe everything that you see on the internet, especially when it comes to Islamic rulings. Do your own research. And if you're an Islamic account, please do not go and put very specific fatwas on the internet. That's for, for a very specific set of people to the entire dunya. And also have your messages on because I tried messaging you, brother or sister, to ask you to politely take it off. But I couldn't message you. Also, guys, slandering a whole scholar of islam based off of a post that you saw and you just went with again if you see something islamically the first thing you should do as a muslim is your duty to go and research it yourself especially if it's getting your brain thinking what is that true guys this is tiktok it's not you're not in an alima course or an alim course guys Anyways, guys, reiterating, it's completely okay to have a C-section if that is what is needed for the safety of mother and child. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward immensely all the mothers that have gone through pregnancy, who are delivering babies, who are going through that. May Allah reward you, Allahumma ameen, and may Allah make the ones who are looking after you, whether it be your partners, your midwives, or whoever, capable of that. Allahumma ameen. We need to normalise sheikhs not giving fatwas outside of their area of expertise. In fact, cut the cameras entirely because the things I'm seeing today are absolutely crazy. Tell me why I've seen a TikTok today of a fatwa a sheikh has given discouraging women from having C-sections. Apparently, women being more patient and giving labour rather than having a C-section will bring them more reward. Let's not even get into the fact that as a man, he will never understand what going through birth is like or any of the pain associated with birth. But yeah, like I said, let's normalise sheikhs, scholars, giving fatwas in their areas of expertise. If you have no clue about medical care, why are we giving fatwas relating to medical care? Like, you don't know what the procedure is, let alone you even being able to perform it. Not a medical degree in sight, but we're passing comments, we're passing fatwas. The bar must be in absolute hell. 
But like, do we know how dangerous it is to be passing fatwas like that? To discourage women from getting C-sections when we're not aware of the benefits, the risks associated with it. And I know like in this day and age, it's common sense really because everything is a Google search away. But it really does seem like some of these scholars are allergic to Google. What is your take on this video? Some people are saying that, oh, women do not just pick and choose cesarean section. Why would a woman just pick and choose cesarean section for a delivery method? All women want to go for natural. The only time they go for cesarean section is when the doctors are like, oh, this is a life and death situation. Or you cannot go through natural beds, vagina beds. So you have to go to cesarean section. That is one of the reasons why most men that do CS do CS. That is wrong. Totally wrong. If that is how it used to be, that is not how it is now. Women are opting for cesarean section the moment they find out they are pregnant. They are like, see, I am six weeks pregnant, right? Doctor, I am going to pick my delivery date and i want elective they call it elective cs and what is it about doing cs and batch delivery that people compare and say that cs is the easy way out if you're a mom or you've gotten pregnant before and you've gone through batch delivery and cs please which one is more painful let them know <laughs> Most women that have gone through VAG and maybe their first child is a VAG, first child is a VAG, and the second is CS, cesarean section. <clears throat> Tell them to compare. The one that is very painful is the cesarean section. And what is it with these religious leaders that feel like they can, you know, dictate what a woman would do to her body? See, when it comes to pregnancy, childbirth, a woman's life is at risk. So she has an option to pick something that she feels like might allow her to leave her and the child leave. And you're against it because it doesn't allow the woman and the child to bond or it makes things easy for them or it is like you're following shatan rule or something. And this particular thing this man said, is the reason whereby most women get on a live when they're about to give birth because they are going to be in pain oh i want to do i want to give birth like the you call it giving birth like hebrew women where i'm from i don't know if that is where it's how it is everywhere i want to give birth like hebrew women i want to give they don't want epidural they don't want any pain meds they want to carry the baby to 40 weeks some of them carry it to 41 weeks <sighs> just because they want to give birth to true vag with no medication and come out and collect trophy because of that some women are very tired after their water broke they are very tired because they've been in labor for 48 hours some of them 72 hours some of them they're going to even induce them and see how things goes at the end of the day, they'll end up rushing them for emergency cesarean section. So most of them do not make it, some make it. In fact, it is... Way, ah. I don't know about you, but for me, one thing I know I fear most is childbirth and pregnancy and all of that. So when people are going through things like that ah, and they get on alive in the process, I feel really, really bad about it. And then finding out what causes it, maybe ignorance or the fact that you just want to prove that you're a strong woman, worse. I've known some people that have lost because of they're trying to give birth by down there instead of opting for CS. I've known some people that have lost and also child lost as well. Maybe the mother survived, but then the child did not survive. There's nothing wrong when a woman give birth to cesarean. I just feel like people that have this conversation and try to be like, oh, you... Because, see, it happens. It happens. People that have conversations and look down at women that give birth to cesarean section and look at women that give birth through vash, those ones are the real mothers. This one did not go through labor pain. 
most of them they are they are illiterate like they don't have sense i've even heard somebody saying someone close to me was saying that i took my wife out of that hospital uh, when she wanted to give birth because the doctors were like the only way she can give birth is through cesarean section so i had to take her out of that hospital immediately and go register in another hospital and she ended and she ended up giving birth through vaginal vaginal delivery <sighs> i was dumbfounded i didn't even know what to say i was just looking <laughs> or oh, was it of recent one guy was was what well, he doesn't want to sign that they take his wife to to the surgery room he doesn't want to sign they were like your child is losing strength she cannot push it was like no keep going she's not going to have cesarea said no you see i really don't blame these men that do things like this because number one they don't know what it feels what it takes to go through those stages of pregnancy then the only time for you to just feel, be free of that pregnancy and they are trying to feel like they have authority over your body there is fewer death rates if you up for elective cs than when you say you must give petrol down there most of the time, women that are just up for from maybe six months of their pregnancy, they're like, you know what, can I do even six weeks? Some women already know, even before they give birth, even before they get pregnant, they know that they don't want to go through that labor pain. There are fewer complications when you already planned for the cesarean section than when it was emergency. So these men that always say all these things, I just feel like they are just proving the points that we keep saying. They do not like their women. They see women as objects. They see you as objects to bring children, so you must suffer. I won't told you cesarean section, you will still not feel pain. It's, just, it's, a, it's a major surgery. And even if you might be sleeping when they did it, or you're awake, or you they numbed you from down there, you will still feel that pain. And the woman is still a mom. Because I cannot understand whereby even women do this. Women do this. Where I'm from, like the conversation is very draining. I don't even join them in the conversation because I see people like that that they're very dumb, and I can't I can't join those kind of conversations. You see them arguing, like it's a pride thing. Oh, I gave away all my three children. Ah, natural, natural. No, no injection. <laughs> No surgery, nothing, nothing. It's all natural. Then the one that did Tissera section would not be feeling like she has failed as a woman, be feeling like she's not strong enough. You see them saying, ah, I was very strong. In fact, when I got to the hospital, immediately the bikini came out, the child came out of my vag. Da -da 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 -da. Like it's a pride thing. Then the one that did Tissera section cannot come out to say it out. Probably say it out like mm. you will not be like oh yeah sorry as if she has done something awful or something wrong to her body so women that actually deliver through cs is due to complications some of them don't actually want to try that route but doesn't mean that is easy route if that be i hate when i hear cesarean section is the easy route because i've asked before if you're a mom or you know a mom that has gone through both delivery ask them which is easier the cesarean section or the vag delivery they will tell you better then they will tell you which is more difficult which is more painful in fact some of them that have done vag maybe they don't vag the first child or second child or one or two children maybe the last one is cesarean section they don't want to have kids again because of what they went through after cesarean section and some of people will tell you they didn't feel any pain about the cesarean section because of the pain meds that was given to them everybody with their body but then if you look at the percentage cesarean section is way painful and it's not an easy way out Anyways, what is your take on today's video? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Respectfully, Shaka Maria Davis, and thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this one. And please like and share and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.
bye